Today, we're going to be comparing the first generation to the second generation square card reader. Now, there's just some minor differences in these. Uh, we'll start with the uh, first generation. So we'll go ahead and pop it open. And I use this daily for my small business. Uh, right there, you have it. They both pretty much look exactly the same. Uh, one difference is the first gen uses a micro USB to charge, whereas the second gen uses a USB-C to charge. Uh, as far as what else comes inside the box, you're going to get your charging cable, of course. And then with the first gen, you also get the mag strip with the headphone jack. All right, so there's the first gen. I'm going to set it right there. And then we'll go ahead and open up the second generation here. Slightly different packaging. And the inside looks a lot the same. All right, so first gen and second gen. Let's see, they are mm, there's a little bit of size difference. Uh, the second generation uh, is supposed to have 20% uh, more battery power, uh, be more secure, and then it also has the USB-C instead of the micro USB, which means you'll be able to charge it faster, which that's super cool. Uh, also comes with your charging cable. However, it does not come with the mag strip. Generation 2 does not come with a mag strip. All right, so in regards to how to work these, uh, they're both pretty much exactly the same. You'll bring up your square point of sale system or whatever square system you use. It pretty much integrates with all of them. I'm going to open this up on here. And once we get it opened up, we're going to go down to settings, and then once we get to settings, we will go to hardware, and then we'll scroll down to square readers, and then connect a reader. Now, it's the same way to set up on both of these. You just hold down the power button for about five seconds or so, and then it will flash orange lights. It'll start saying that it's pairing on your phone here. You click pair once. It'll pop up again here in a second for security issues. Actually, it didn't pop up twice on that one. That must just be a thing with the second generation. All right, so we're going to go ahead and connect a reader again, and we will connect our second generation reader. Same thing, hold it down, blinks orange, pops up, pairing, pair. And then it requests it one more time. Like I said, it's more secure. And then we have both of them added to our point of sale system here. So you can run multiple uh, square readers, which is super cool. Say you want one maybe like permanently mounted at your cash register, and then one that you can slide in your pocket and be sort of mobile around your store or wherever you're at in regards to your small business. So overall, they're both great products, both about the same size. Uh, it just depends uh, if you're wanting to be more mobile, uh, maybe get the second generation because it has the longer battery life. If you already have the first generation, maybe, you know, consider permanently mounting it uh, at your cash register or somewhere else that maybe doesn't need to be so mobile and then throw in the uh, new one into your pocket and then you can take uh, credit cards wherever you want to, have the longer battery life. If you need to quickly charge it, USB-C, boom, charges way faster. Uh, it's also more secure, which is fantastic for you and your customers. So that's the difference between generation one and generation two of the square card reader.